In November of 1848, the Indiana Hospital for the Insane opened its doors for patients who suffered from a variety of mental illnesses, ranging from depression to various forms of psychosis. The criminally insane were also housed here. The patients were in dark and human conditions, and restraining practices were deemed to be barbaric. The worst inmates, such as those prone to violence and the criminally insane, were held in basements of buildings or dark rooms off the vast tunnels which connect various buildings with chains and shackles on the walls. With many claims of patients being abused, calls some in government to come up with other less expensive, smaller unit alternatives to take care of the mentally ill, which led to the closing of Central State Hospital in 1994. The Powerhouse Building, which is the oldest still standing building in Central State. There's many reports of unexplained activity such as the screaming of a woman has been heard in the basement. Dark shadow figures have also been seen. And also an employee on a break took a nap in a room in the basement near the pumping station. He awoke as he was being choked by unseen hands by a menacing presence. He broke the grasp and ran to the light switch and no one was there. There were deep red marks around his neck where he was being choked. So it's the day after the investigation and I'm back here at the location shooting some b-roll and I just have this overwhelming sense of sadness and I can't really explain it um, but I was perfectly fine driving here I was listening to music I was getting hype in the car and then now that I'm here it feels almost as if something attached itself to me and I have like this lump in my throat like you know when you're about to cry and you can feel it like in your throat like I feel like that and I just feel sad and I just feel I, I, I just don't want to be here right now honestly I just I just want to get out I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling angry. I feel like punching a wall or punching someone or... <sighs> Central State, I am no match for you. We got Tyler. Introduce yourself, man. Oh, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. What's up? Hi. And we got Eric. Oh, this is an old shower. Shine some light on this door. Yeah. Whoa. I'm kind of afraid to step on this, man. You'll do it? I don't know. Go ahead. Shine it down a little bit. Deep ball, I got hurt. Not to kill it. We are in Central State Hospital here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, the insane asylum, nothing but dead bodies underneath us, burial sites, you name it, pentagrams. All this stuff is here. This place has its own documentary, numerous paranormal videos on YouTube. And we are here to investigate the area. Got Josh, Eric on camera right now, and Tyler and myself. This tunnel, Hear something? You said what? I said probably just pipes. Probably just pipes? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go down this tunnel. There's like seven miles of tunnel under. We're underground right now. We're gonna see what we can possibly run into. We're gonna do EVPs in the dark like we did last time. And there are proof, there's proof, solid evidence that there are things beyond this world that exist here in this location. You're entering the twilight. Hidden door. I could see that. <laughs> you gotta think what's behind that. You guys also have to remember we are in complete darkness. To go ahead and kill that light, just put it up against your chest. Look at this. We are in complete darkness. Show the light. What does this say? This was the initials. It does look like another door. Let me see this light. I'm gonna go in here and see what's in here. Oh. 
it goes down more. Well, let's go down. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty short. Let's do it. There's bugs everywhere. Oh my God, dude. That door is seized shut. We're in this tunnel right now. I am currently crouched down. We all are. Turns out it's just a dead end. Okay, uh, we gotta we gotta find. I heard a noise coming from this area. Wait, what are these steps over here? Look. What if it's trying to? There's steps right here. They're perfectly fine, guys. No, dude, we didn't come in this way. Not from these steps, dude. Look, they go up. Yeah, but from here, bro. Over here, with these steps going up. You want to go up? Bro, I'm holding the camera light and I'm the first. <laughs> Yo. Yo, there's a. Love conquers all, but every time it's you. What? Yo, look at this door, bro. Oh, you guys gotta get up here. Oh my god. Useless. That says useless. Oh, man. Yo, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I have, like, the weirdest feeling right now up here. Is there? Like the like, there's another man. There's downstairs, a I felt like something was like crawling in my shirt, dude. Really? It was crazy. Does anybody else have like a headache? I got a weird vibe. I have dude. like I have a headache, but only on the right side of my head, like in the back. As soon as I mention that I have a headache, an orb appears to come into frame to the left and then shoots straight up and vanishes. Now please keep in mind this cannot be a lens flare because, well, lens flares don't work like that. And lens flares also don't follow a formation, opposed to this ball of energy appears to have its formation. And I find it really strange how I mentioned I have a headache and once I did, the orb appeared to leave. Now could this be a spirit trying to use my energy to help itself manifest? I believe so. I got a weird vibe. I have like I have a headache, but only on the right side of my head, like in the back. I could be. You don't like, I got pressure. I got pressure. Do you have like a pressure? Yeah. Man, like I got pressure. I got pressure. Do you have like a pressure? Yeah. Do you have like a pressure? Yeah. Do you have like a pressure? Yeah. Man. Oh my god, dude. Oh, it stinks so bad in here. Yo, you guys, you guys don't like come here. This is sketch, man. I just heard a noise. 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 It's just my hand. No, bro, up above us, like a footstep. I swear on my life. Chimney repairs, Central State Hospital, 1972, 1974, 1975, 1977. You guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> you guys want to see a dead body? Okay. No. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do now, shine some light on me really quick. 21. 21. No. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go back down where we came in from. We're gonna do a quick EVP session, you'll see. Right now we're gonna conduct an EVP session using the same piece of advice from the first episode, the Zoom H4N digital audio recorder. We're down here in the tunnels where we first came in. We're gonna capture this EVP, see what we can possibly get, if anything, and then move to another location. If there's any spirits down here or in this building that can possibly hear us, would you like to make a noise or let it be known that you're here?
That can be any noise, a knock on the wall, these pipes, anything. Just make a noise and let us know that you're here. I have a digital audio recorder in my hand with a microphone. Just make a noise into this mic and we'll pick up your voice or any noise that you may make. If that's you making a noise on those pipes, you gotta be a little bit stronger than that. Can you get a little bit louder? I think I just picked up something over here behind this camera. Mark that for review. Up until this point, we had captured no spirit voices, but as soon as I thought I heard a noise coming from behind the camera, we capture a class A EVP through the digital audio recorder. Mark that for review. It's clearly a male's voice and we believe that it's saying, be good. Could this spirit be trying to tell us to be good while we were down there? Or could this be the residual energy of a staff member telling another patient to behave? Mark that for review. Just to let you know, we do come in peace. We don't mean you any harm in any way, shape, or form. All right, we're going to review the audio right now. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Did you hear that? You, you heard that though. We gotta like re re hear it again, but I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so we think we picked up on a spirit voice that came through the auto recorder, sound like a male voice coming through. If we did, you would already know about that, but we would do further review with headphones in a little bit later to double check and to validate that. But <laughs> right now we are across the street from Central State Hospital in the cemetery where a lot of these bodies that are here actually died at this facility. We're going to be conducting an EVP right here. I'm actually standing on the grave where I really shouldn't be. Are there any spirit energies in this cemetery that like to communicate with us? Did you die in the hospital? Did you die in the hospital? Did they torture you in the hospital? Let us know what happened. 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 Okay. All right, so Josh had to go home, so we had to run him home, but then we took a pit stop. We all got something to eat. Him and Tyler were experiencing some stomach. What were you guys going through in there? I felt a lot of pressure on my sternum. I just like, the reason I don't want to go back in there is because the uneasiness I felt is not something I just want to put myself back through again just for the for the heck of it like I got that feeling it's not something I just want to like say like, okay whatever let's just do it again like yeah and you guys also have to keep in mind too this was an insane asylum um and people experienced all mental illnesses and felt so many different things and you have to think you know if they're experiencing that and also I mentioned that I had like a little headache going and I don't know if that's whether or not the just the residual energies that are there, or if it's the, the air or whatever, what have you, you have to think, man, there's there's so many things that are just so many elements in this in this land. And so many people have died mm -hmm. in the in the mistreatment and the abuse and just the regular mental illness. And it's been here since 1848. And um, you have to think, you know, that energy that's laying there, that's left behind, it could have an effect on the living if they go in there 
and mess around with things. It is a lot colder than it is in there than it is outside, which is kind of hard to explain. But um, usually it's warmer inside buildings, no matter what. Yeah, it's windy outside too, so the fact that it's colder inside yeah. than it is outside is really odd. Well, with all that being said. We're going to go back in there. Oh. We're going to do an EVP on the second floor because we did one down there in the in the lower part where we go yeah, let's in. Let's just go to the second floor so when we run run out, we f <laughs> fall down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck, guys. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. fail so that was a fail <laughs> um see the thing is is that we i, I got verbal uh, the verbal okay to to go in there and to investigate the factory but you need to get things written right mm -hmm. and that's something that i knew that was going to be that would probably happen i was hoping it wouldn't so we were getting ready to walk in there and then the u.s marshal was there we were talking to him i asked him if he wanted to be on camera but he turned us down Policy. But um, yeah, because of policy, and um, he even said that this place is. He said that's the oldest haunted building. He said he has. Um, he said it was the most haunted building in the asylum. Yep, and um, they tore a lot of it down. A lot of the tunnels underground collapsed. He said there's one way of entry, he and he us. he can't tell us. He wouldn't tell us. Which but we could find it. We could find it, but we're gonna go Part about two, it the right maybe. way. We're gonna go about it the right way, and um, try to get written everything. Consent. Yeah, written consent to go in there and do it the right way and that we don't have to worry about anybody um, telling us to leave or whatever. Never get the verbal okay and think it's completely okay even though I was like, okay, I'll do it anyway just just, just in case if I get caught, we're here now. Gotta show pro. Testing the waters. Yeah, just testing the waters, getting our feet wet with it a little bit. It's definitely, a, it's a, it's a lot scarier when you're there opposed to watching it like you guys are. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want a part two, Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new videos every single week. Hope you guys are enjoying Paranormal Mystery. Check out the description box. Follow my friends over here on social media. And follow me as well. Yeah, if you're in the Midwest, let us know. Like, if there's any haunted places. Because I'm open to drive. And if you want, if you're, if you're going to give us, if you have permission, if Meet your house there. is haunted or whatever, well, you can also take Meet part in there. the episode. Be in our video. Exactly. So, let us know. All right? Leave a comment down below or personally email me. Follow me on Twitter. Message me. However you want to do it. Get in contact with me because I respond to everybody. Um, okay. Cops everywhere. All right. See you soon. <laughs>